Coach uh, Justin Bucket with WTVG in Toledo. We were in here with Jim Flannery earlier. He had nothing but good things to say about you. Um, just can you describe what your guys' connection was from your days in the Missouri Valley? Just what you think of him and what you guys talk about when you guys saw each other today? When I first met Jim, uh, he was assistant at Creighton, and uh, then he was promoted to head coach a little bit later. But, you know, I just have ultimate respect for Jim. He's a class act on and off the court. He's done a terrific job at Creighton and uh, has developed a power. Uh, they've done a great job through the years. They're just like Toledo. They're a very strong defensive team, and we know it's going to be a battle. But I, I have much respect for him. You know, I'm going against a peer that I, I have a lot of admiration for. Jonathan Hawthorne with the Omaha World Herald in, in uh, Omaha. Coach, just, uh, you know, he was saying too also that, you know, you do want to get a good opponent in the first round, but it's, it's kind of good and bad to see someone that, you know, a, a friendly face. What is that like kind of just going against someone that uh, you have so much respect for and so much camaraderie for? Well, it's, it's a little bit bittersweet because, you know, had we not been paired against each other, we'd be cheering for each other uh, because we do care a lot about how each other do in our careers and we do follow each other. When, when Creighton's on television, I've through the years, I've stopped the TV and, and watched for a while because I do want him to do well and succeed. Obviously, that's tough for tomorrow because I want Toledo to succeed. Uh, but, you know, it, when it comes down to it, it we're both going to compete. It doesn't mean we don't respect each other. But we're going to give each other everything we can. And we have through the years when we faced each other. I, that's why I think you learn a lot about people when you kind of go through the good and the bad. Uh, when you can still respect each other after wins and losses, that's when you know that you have that ultimate respect. And that's what I have for Jim. Coach, how, um, what do you remember about you know, his coaching style from back when you were in the Missouri Valley Conference? And how has that maybe changed from what you've seen on film with the well, I think the things that are similar is that he recruits very skilled kids and he does a terrific job of, of developing players. You know, his players are, are always very uh, fundamentally sound, can shoot the ball, can pass, cut very well. Floor spacing is excellent. Uh, they share the ball really well. They play extremely hard. Those things haven't changed. What has changed is his roster. And we've both evolved as coaches and we do a little bit, you know, some things a little bit different because we've tweaked things through the years and gotten better and wiser. Um, but, you know, again, I think there's certain staples that he and I both have truly believe in, and that's stopping people on the defensive end of the floor and, and trying to do our best to take away what the other team wants to do. And uh, we're both going to try to do that to the best of our ability. Coach, in the back, uh, big stage. This is obviously the biggest stage that you guys have been a part of this year. Do you have an idea what your team's going to be like on the big stage, or are you curious just like we are? I, I'm not curious. I, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, this team has faced a lot of great teams this year. You know, they played against Notre Dame. They played against UCLA. They went to Dayton, which is a very strong team, and, and won on the road. Um, and then to win as many games as we had to in a row to, to win our conference title. Uh, you know, they've been tested. And the one thing I've been very proud about through the season of them is that they've rose to the occasion every time. And, and I don't expect any different from them tomorrow. You know, I'm, I'm not one of those coaches that's going to sit here and guarantee we're going to win, but I'm going to guarantee you that our kids are going to play hard and they're going to give it their best shot. This is going to be a great game, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, but I, I, the one thing I never question is whether our kids are going to give everything they have. All, most teams in, in March do want to be playing their best basketball. Do you feel like you guys are, you know, having, having won eight in a row? Do you feel like you are where you want to be? Is this the best you guys have been playing? Well, you know, in non-conference, we really kind of got off to a great start. We had two losses, and it was a two-point loss to UCLA and a 17-point loss to Notre Dame. So I felt really good about the, the non-conference portion of the season. Then as we kind of crept into after Christmas, the start of conference play, we had some obstacles thrown in front of us, some injuries that we couldn't control, and some different things that kind of made us stumble a little bit. But the one thing I have found is this team's resilient. They bounced back, and winning 11 out of our last 12, we kind of have started to gel at the right time and peak at the right time. And I do think there's, a, there's that whole thing about starting to peak at the right time and also getting healthy at the right time. I've, I've coached certain teams that have stumbled to the end, uh, and you just pray that the kids can hold up body-wise. I'm not feeling that way about this team. We're deeper than we've been in years. Uh, I feel like we've got a lot of people that we can call upon at different times for different situations. And you know we're, we're in a very good situation heading into this game, personnel-wise, health-wise, and the fact that our kids have really gelled lately. Coach Jim was describing how the way you guys' roster is set up, you can't just focus on stopping the three or stopping the pose. You guys can beat, uh, beat teams in multiple ways. Is that, I guess,
guess the end game for a head coach to develop a team that has multiple ways to beat other opponents? I definitely think being having some uh, unselfish players that are willing to step up at any moment. You know, I do think that going through our conference tournament, we did have different players step up. Sophie Reeker had some great minutes against Kent State. Or